Hey, welcome to my Wednesday vlog. I'm at the clubhouse today, just kind of taking a break in the boot camp and enjoying the lunch break. A little bit of coffee in my Star Wars mug. And um, I, figured, I figured maybe today I'd kind of talk about the stuff that I mentioned last night about making the C-sharp wrapper for C or C++ code, because um, that's kind of a very common tech stack, like you make your C++ code that works for like a micro, or C++ C, which is your machine code, so like that could be reading stuff off of some analog sensors and maybe interfacing with a piece of equipment, and then you want to be able to run this stuff like in Unity, right? So, uh, for example, Unity is in, I, maybe you could write different languages in it, but I've used just C Sharp, Unity connected to Visual Studio. And um, what, you, what you can do is you can write a program like this one right here, which is just the same program that I've made you know, time and time again. Enter the data that you want to insert into the position you want to insert in the node. Um, so all this program does is it just allows you to insert some data in between nodes. That's it. And uh, I don't even know why. It's, it's like this, uh, the header files. Uh, Anyways, if I run it, so this is in sort of linked list, ls, and then if I do proc, not sharp, exe, this is all this program does. So running program sort of link. Oh, you know what? No, I don't want to do that. So if I do g plus uh, plus sort of linked list dot c dash o proc proc this is going to build um, an executable file of just this of just the c c code so you see it says enter the number of nodes that you'd like to insert so we'll do five i put in that one that one this one right this one and this one well yeah he wanted to meet with me and then we can display the list so you display the list, and then it gives you 13, to, uh, 23, 43, 56, and 23, 23. So it just gives you a sorted list of nodes. Okay. So that's how you can compile a C. That's how you can compile C code into an executable build. Now, the key thing about this program is. If I want to port this over to C sharp so I can call this stuff from the front end, I need to have this keyword declare spec and then DLL export and then the type, the return type for the function. So this is main. And then this other keyword, uh, std call. And then in your C sharp file, so this is completely different. This is a C sharp file. In C sharp, if you can port anything over to C sharp, it's like now you have this code, this C++ code or C code that's really fast and all you have to do to use your functions from this DLL, first you gotta do um, uh, dang, how do you do this? I forgot. Chrome and then I did build um, lib file Build DLL. Build DLL from C code. Oh, I saw the link that I clicked on last time. So you got to do GCC. Um, shared dash o this this will do it so you want to write this command and i'm going to do I don't know, I think that's the wrong thing. Yeah, okay. 
We're gonna call this. Proc lib dot dll, and this is going to become this is come from sort it ceiling dash c. Okay, and I have proc lib dot dll. So I have proc lib dot dll. In here, I need to um, use this decorator at for the file. So you put the file name here, and then you have to put your entry point for the function, and then all this stuff you can just get from stack overflow this is like a standard thing that many people use and then here you can put down it's a public static uh, public static keywords and then extern and then the type int main so this is using main from my C program so you could be using this to like read sensors from something um, and then we can see if this is working because it'll do console write line running a C program sort it linked list and then it will call main from that dll but to do that we need to do csc uh, proc dot cs i think this will do it okay ls and now proc dot exe i called that before but it's going to look different now it'll give us that console write line so if i do proc dot exe now it's running it from the c sharp wrapper same exact program. And then if I display the nodes, see it's basically the C program now running in the C, C sharp. So it's pretty cool because uh, if you want to write like Arduino code or use AppMail Studio or you have some sort of like IoT application and you want to make a front end in C sharp, which gives you access to tools like Unity or any of those like wrappers. Now you can add a U user interface so it's not just a console application. Um, it's pretty it's pretty good stuff. Uh, to get that CSC though, so CSC is a special um, executable. You have to download that. So You have to download, um, you have to get this um, Microsoft.NET framework, and then once you get that, you can add that to your path. But yeah, you have to add that to your path first. Right. So, you know, this is cool because I've been doing stuff with computer vision, and I want to be able to call stuff over on the front end with um, C Sharp. So now you can do it, but this is just like a simple example. I recommend getting like Hello World working and then going on to doing more complex stuff. But yep, that's it. So I hope you found this kind of interesting and maybe you'll go do it.